There she is. He, the old man. One of the old men. The first one. And before. So, of course, Natalie always loves a bit of an epic. Uh, she decided that it would be a lot more interesting and a bit more spicy if we did the three old men in three days. Uh, which was certainly much more challenging <laughs> logistically and physically. <laughs> Way more challenging. But yeah, that's what challenges are all about, aren't they? <laughs> Good to go. Good to go. Good to go. Ambuco was the one that none of us had climbed before. Not even my dad, so we didn't really know much about it. So the two girls that I, I was climbing with on the challenge, Vicky and Jen, I've known Vicky for quite a long time. I climbed with her quite a bit. She's a really like steady person to climb with, really reliable, really strong. She's got a really good head. She's just incredibly disorganised. <laughs> so getting, getting her there is a challenge. But when she's there and she's in it, she's 100%. brought the, the gift of, of youth to the to the threesome I think. We made it in one piece. I'm uh, I'm only bleeding a little bit. Uh, we're almost up the hill. We're almost on the downhill. And uh, we get it high after this, so I'm pretty excited. It's an alpine star for star. This is gonna be the biggest challenge of the because we need to top out by 12 o'clock, be back to the car by three, and then it's going to be a race up the road to Scrabster to get the 7 pm ferry to Orkney. So we're going to have to be pretty efficient today <laughs> and minimise our faffing. <laughs> I think it's I think it's up to us as young people to like step up and, and inspire people instead of thinking oh well yeah those people have been climbing all their lives and I could never do that thinking oh they're just the three girls who like to have a bit of a laugh and push themselves and man maybe I could do that too We set out to find a charity to raise money for and uh, we found the Urban Uprising. That's how we became the ambassadors. So for six weeks over the summer, a group of kids came in and we did a bit of climbing, a bit of banter and uh, it was so good and I think I realised there's so many benefits to climbing, like not just the physical aspect but the mental aspect and the social aspect that I just I just never really valued as much before. I would feel really grateful to my dad for passing on his knowledge and his love for climbing and the Scottish hills and adventure. Well done girls, that's fantastic. Two in the bag, one to go. We're uh, packing up our stuff. 
to head out to Orkney and uh, yeah, kind of got to get my life together here. Oh, well, this eye is shady from the sun, this eye isn't, but you know, what can you do? <laughs> And uh, we uh, we took the ferry over, the smaller ferry, and now we're gonna get on our nice little taxi bus to our boffy. We're about to walk over that hill to find the boy. Get on top of him. <laughs> second pitch on Ilman Ahoy was <laughs> really hard. <laughs> it took a lot of my reserves of energy so after that I felt quite depleted and still had three pitches to go and three abseils to get off the bloody thing so by that time I was pretty tired and I kind of let my guard down a wee bit. You can't just like, you can't just relax when you're four pitches up a sea stack because you're still in a potentially dangerous situation. And if you let your guard down for a moment, then you can get yourself into a lot of trouble. So I had to keep with it, so I just ate loads of jelly babies. And the other girls uh, kind of kept me going. Everyone kind of carried like a, a good sense of humor and a good energy to it, so. It uh, made it easier when we hit a low point, kind of like used uh, some humor and, and lots of snacks to kind of work back up. For me, the old man of high is sort of nemesis. I'd been there before and didn't manage to get to the top. Got a little bit off route and had to ab off. Pretty good. <laughs> Might if I try a taste of it. Do you want a taste of it, Nat? <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so majestic. <laughs> the moral to the story, believe it or not, if you get pizza and your peas, while they're still nice and hot. We are three women from Glasgow and Edinburgh and Montana, and we came up to the North of Scotland to crush out the old men. <laughs> <laughs> 